Okay, welcome to our video on solving a system of equations using the addition method. So if you're watching these in order, uh, you've done the graphing method, you've done the substitution method, now we're on to the addition method. Now I personally love the addition method and I, I tend to use that more often than I do with the substitution method and you, hopefully you see why in a second. Alright, now the the substitution method didn't require this, but the addition method does. The addition method requires your two equations to be in general form, meaning that the x and y have to be on the same side uh, and the constant on the right-hand side. Okay, step one. Pick a variable that you would like to cancel. All right, uh, without really telling you why, I just want to pick x. And you'll see why in a second, but we're going to pick y. Did I say pick x? I meant pick y. We're going to pick y. Now step two says multiply the equations by a number so that the variable you want to cancel, the y, has the same coefficient. Coefficients mean the numbers in front of the variable. So I want the numbers in front of y to be the same but with opposite signs. So if you take a look at our system right now, and with the x, we have coefficients 2 and 3. Those are not the same. In front of the y, we have 1 and negative 1. So they're both 1s where 1 is negative and 1 is positive, and that's exactly what I want. So same coefficient, opposite signs. So what I'm going to just say is I'm going to say already done. All right. Uh, but I still need to write, I'm going to rewrite it so that when I scroll down you can still see it. Okay. Now step three, we want to add the equations together. Okay, so let's add. Let's see what happens. So 2x plus 3x. That's 5x. Now y plus a negative y makes a 0y. And right now I'm going to write 0y. And then 9 plus 16 is 25. So then step 4, what we're going to do is we're going to solve for x. So we get 5x equals 25. There's no reason to rewrite or write that 0y because 0 times anything will be 0. And then x equals 5. So solve for x and you get 5. All right, and that's it. That's the addition method. It's as simple as that. Now step 5, which we would plug in x equals 5 back into any, to any of the equations will work uh, to solve for y. So I believe I had an equation 2x. I think it was plus y equals 9. Let me verify that. Let me scroll up. So 2x plus y equals 9. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in x equals 5. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to solve for y. So this is going to be 10 plus y equals 9. So y equals negative 1. So there you go. There's our solution. So let me write that out. My solution is going to be 5 comma negative 1 or you can write x equals 5, y equals negative 1. And please, please check, okay, check these, okay. All right, so we let's do another one. Our next example have has the, the following system, 2x minus y equals 9, 3x plus 4y equals negative 14. So let's just jump right into it. Let's pick a variable you want to cancel. Since in the last example we picked y, let's pick x. Because again, why not? Step two, multiply the equations by a number so that the variable you want to cancel has the same coefficient, the opposite signs. So we have a two and a three. Now what number can I turn a two and three into? And what we're doing is we want the least common multiple. Now the least common multiple between 2 and 3 is 6. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to turn this, so turn those into 6. Turn into 6. Okay, 
So let me write this system down again. Now one of them has to be 6, the other one has to be negative 6. And there's really no, I mean, I'm just going to make the top one 6 and the bottom one negative 6. Okay, so let's draw a line like this. So on the top, what I'm going to do is I need to multiply. That's what it says, multiply by a number. So on the top equation, I'm going to multiply by 3. Now, why 3? Because 2x times 3 is 6x. All right, so let's see what we get. So that's going to be 6x. Now, you have to make sure you multiply everything in that equation by 3. So that's going to be negative 3y, and that's going to turn into 27. Now I need this to turn into a negative 6x. Well, how do I change a 3 into a negative 6? You would multiply by a negative, so multiply by negative 2. So then 4y times negative 2 is negative 8y. And negative, I, that's a 14, sorry, so negative 14 times negative 2 is a 28. All right. So do I satisfy step two? Do I have the variable I want to cancel, the x's? Do they have the same number with opposite signs? And that we do, 6 and negative 6. So now it's time to add the equations together. So when you add these two together, we get 6x minus 6x, that's 0x. Negative 3y and negative 8y, I'll make negative 11y. And 27 and 28 will make 55. All right, so now we're going to solve for y because 0x is just 0, so that goes away. So we get a negative 11y equals 55. So y has to equal negative 5. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's the addition method. Or again, some people might call it the elimination method. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug y equals negative 5 back into the equation to solve now for x. It could be any equation. Um, so I'm going to choose the 2x minus y equals 9. All right, so we get 2 times x minus what's going to be y, which is negative 5. So let me go ahead and plug in negative 5. All right, so that's 2x plus 10 equals 9, oops, sorry, plus 10, plus 5 equals 9, so that's 2x equals, so subtract the 5 over, you're going to get 4, so x equals 2. So our solution to this system will be 2 comma negative 5, or again, you can write it as x equals 2 y equals negative 5. All right, so then go ahead and look for the video that does the addition method where you have one solution and infinitely many solutions.